So off the record, not not fiduciary, where crazy stock market. Where where should people be investing their money today? Oh man, that's a great great. I was waiting for that. You know when, when are we going to talk to about say it? it. Had to. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you how I, I approach it since I'm, I, I don't want any way to hear this as, as an investment advice. That's why I was saying. This is not investment advice. So yep. this I'm very much a uh, p passive investor index long-term guide. If folks have not read before the book, The the Index Revolution by, I think it's Charles Ellis, I would highly recommend it. Um, but the, the literature continues to support that active investing approaches in and out predicting the markets especially when you layer on top of that the fees and the tax inefficiencies of that it's not winning uh long term and and, and a more passive low fee stay in the market kind of keep your head down be informed but keep your head down and be able to weather that storm long term is where you need to be so i'm as aggressive now as i ever have been uh honestly i i wish i had a little bit more cash sitting around i'd be putting more money into the market i i think I share the belief of many that we're probably not yet have seen the worst of it. Uh, I still believe that long term, if you look at what's happened with the markets, at least since I've been investing since 2008, uh, and if you look at the historical return since the Great Depression, the market has done its thing. Now, may, maybe not in any given year, but if you look at over 10, 20, 30 year periods, the returns on the graph is only going in one direction. Now, I think you have to pair that with what's your risk tolerance, what's your stomach, and what's your capacity, what risk do you need to take? Two very different things that people often get confused. And then when might I need these funds and what's the strategy as, as I'm looking at doing that? So, you know, I'm 38 years old. Um, I have no plans of retiring as long as I can work because I love what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I want to have that. funds if something would happen that I can't predict that we can, you know, fund things. But you know, I'm, I'm looking at a time period like this. And I, honestly, even the dip we saw at the beginning of the pandemic, I see big dip, I see opportunity. Um, and so I, I think there's a lot of opportunities in, in, in the traditional markets right now. Um, I'm, I'm really bullish on kind of building some more of the portfolio and wealth also around real estate and, and business and having kind of that three-legged stool of an investment approach. So yeah, I'm I'm a big fan of of you know the these time periods as Warren Buffett would agree present a lot of opportunity, but it also can cause a lot of anxiety. Uh, yeah, I was well. surprised to hear how few things that Warren Buffett was invested in. I think it would said it yeah. was like four or five things, um, mm -hmm. just yep. in total. Yeah, and he was no. I, he said I think a couple of years ago, it might be longer than now. He said you know his his advice. Uh, obviously, he's a very you know, has been over his career, a very active investor, some, someone who has kind of bucked the trend in predicting the markets and so forth. But, you know, he said if, if he was passing on his wealth, as he will at some point, like the vast majority of it should be in boring index funds over a long, long period of time. So...